Morning guys, how are we doing? Welcome to part three of our soy by soy walk around. And uh, today, look over my shoulder, it looks like it's raining, but it isn't actually. Uh, we have had some rain, I think this is just the aftermath, uh, just draining off the roof, but it's actually not too bad as you're gonna see when we walk around. So, uh, behind me there, that is soy four. We're gonna walk down, down soy five, along beach road, up soy six, and uh, yeah, well we'll see. Let's see what's going on and see the change. There's quite a lot going on here, so let's spin the camera around. No, not recenter, really spin around, thank you. Uh, let's head off. So, hopefully you're enjoying these. Uh, like I said, I was asked to do these. Quite a few people, I did this a long time ago, so I thought let's do it. Uh, what we got there? British pound, 45.2 today. 45.2. And uh, Rajadhani restaurant. I had a curry last night, it was lovely actually, biryani rice, let's see what's, uh, i put these things on, I don't know, where, chicken chili, I don't know, where's my chicken dupiaza, give me a dupi, there we go, uh, chicken tikka masala 250, that's decent, Rogan Josh 250, that's nice, dupi, oh, there you go, 250, decent, I've never eaten in here, do you know what, I could eat a meal in an Indian restaurant here every single day of the week, until the day that I die, and uh, I'll still never cover it all. What a way to go, though. Oh. And uh, over there on the new, see, like CM Square Patel, there's a lot of new shops coming up, a lot of changes along this road. So many things are happening here. All these, remember during COVID, all these were just barren, empty units. They've now been refurbished, which is good to see. And as if by magic now, just so I leave this uh, complex, look, there's no rain. So that's obviously the overspill from uh, the rain we had earlier on. Just a quick one, guys, you see these here. You see these zebra crossings, and you've even got lights, there's lights up there. Even if the light says, rock and roll, baby, just be very careful, be very careful. Here's a big bar. Good morning. No way, mate, no way. <laughs> She's young there. <laughs> All right, bye, uh, bye, soy hi. So by soy ha, soy ha lagar beach road lagar soy hop. Yeah, check out my little quality noon. Okay, cab. Oh, I'm like, oh, chotty cab, cab. Why did cab? So here's the open beer bar comments. Come on, you know the girls up here are really friendly. Of a night time, it's busy. We're well, not busy, busy, but it's busy. They're good vibe. It's nice and chilled out, relaxed. And uh, over there you got the Triangle Super Club. Never been in there. Don't know what that's all about. If you've been in there, guys, share, share, share. What is it like? And uh, we're going to walk down this slope. I think it's got about as much things going on as watching paint dry. But I'll stick to the deal. We'll do soy by soy. And uh, over there, well, let's cover that one when we come back up. Without me saying, who knows what that place is. So, here's a uh, four, four, sarah, four shah beer bar. And the old days, you know, these beer bar comments were great fun. You come up here, you sit down, you'd have a beer, the girls would be friendly. It wasn't like full on like you'd expect in some of like gent stuff and stuff like that, but nevertheless, it was a good vibe. It really was. And I don't know if these kind of beer bars are gonna continue, whether they're gonna stay the course. You know, right now if you look, I don't know, just a bit of look in here, there's a side view of the airplane cafe. I'm gonna come down one evening and do that because they've done a great job in there now. Over there, see there? I will come up and do that. So here's a question. What do you think this plot of land will be? Got to be a hotel, isn't it? Big enough. Mind you saying that, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to go with a hotel. But anyway, um, the point being is that, uh, you know, the beer bar complexes, back in the day, they were brilliant. I just got a tip plaza. Oh, that was fantastic. Just, just some, the wonderful bar. All, the, all these places were really, really nice. However, over the last 10 years, it seems, just, just appears really, that uh, they're not the flavor of the month. Of course, you've got your die-hard visitors, your die-hard customers that say, no, 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 I'm always gonna go there, I'm always gonna support them, and that's brilliant, you know, what you do is fantastic. It keeps them alive, so fair play to you, there's nothing wrong in what you're doing. But I just think with the emergence of so many gents clubs now, a lot more enclosed bars, you know, places like Soy Boomerang, even Soy Chai Boon, Soy Pothole, where we are, you know, they're getting busier and busier. So I don't know. But the nice thing about it, there's a bit for everybody. Whatever floats your boat is there. Now, this place here is called Season 5. 
There you are, season five hotel, rooftop pool, restaurant bar, free Wi-Fi, fitness centre, room service, free parking. I think they should revamp this free Wi-Fi signs because let's be honest, nowadays pretty much, I would say 95% of people that have got mobile phones uh, comes with 5G anyway, or 4G. So you don't really need Wi-Fi. Having said that, if you want to upload to places like Google and stuff on your Google Drive, you need to have Wi-Fi, it won't do it via 5G. Uh, there's Patea Blue Sky. I say it won't do it on 5G, but it does not mind. I have to connect to the internet. But to say free Wi-Fi, I mean... Morning, good, morning. good morning, how are you boss, you okay? Okay, okay. what do you like up? Um, my name is... Ace, and yeah, you... Dong. Dong. Oh, you've been taxi time, eh? Taxi. Oh, okay, well have a good day boss. Okay, have a good day. Amazing Chodicab. Thailand. Chodicab. Amazing Thailand, indeed. See what I mean? Thai people are so friendly. So friendly. Uh, you've got the Full House Korean Barbecue and Restaurant. And this is the thing. There's so many things there that you can try and uh, go and experiment. And you just never get around them all. Uh, you've got the Soy 5 Apartments. There's Soy 5. I'm not really sure on that one myself, personally. But yeah, going back to Wi-Fi. Is there anywhere in this world, well not in this world, but is there anywhere here that still charges to give you access to Wi-Fi? Surely that's, surely that's done and dusted. Uh, here is the best beach villa. And apart from the fact they're chopping down a tree, these areas are very quiet, very quiet. They're up there in their cradle. You can see they've got their harness straps on, they're fully secured, health and safety hats, all the rest of it's all going. <laughs> Oh, bless. You watch, I'm going to say that, a tree lit me on the head. And a uh, room for rent here, a little room, these are the funky little rooms for rent. Maybe if you don't want to be in a, in a hotel, you fancy just show a little room, a little balcony. I guess it's like a one bed studio. And, uh, I'm busy doing that. Oh, yeah, go on, son, you give it some. Right, well, that tree will be going in the not too distant future. Uh, here is Paradise Land Resort. And I mentioned earlier in another video, I've got a new tactic. So right now I'm really busy. It's my daughter's birthday. So I'm seeing her celebrate her birthday. When I come back, I'm gonna have much more time on my hands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a, play a, a trump card and a few people have suggested this, and thank you very much for the idea. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and say, hey, I've got a friend coming over. Can I just have a look at a room, please? He's looking for a room and see if they'll let me video it. Look at your massages. Foot massage, 300 baht. You know, when you look at the prices of the massage, yes, you can get a massage around the corner for, say, 100 baht, 120 baht. You've got to take into consideration the environment in which you're doing. I mean, this here, look, look how beautiful this is. It's very, very nice, tip -bury. But also as well, one of the things that's really grinding me at the moment, and I've got a bit of a beam me bonnet, is you know, guys come into these massage parlors, particularly around the soy of cow area, sit down, they watch movies, they chat to each other, they're loud, they're noisy. The whole point, the whole point of having a massage is to drift off to sleep while they massage your feet, or if you're having a normal massage, and just relax. The last thing I want is to hear your last night's adventures shouted out at the top of your voice. It makes no sense to me, it really doesn't. I consider it, well, just for my own personal opinion, I consider it very disrespectful. You know, when I go to a massage parlor, my phone's on silent. If I need to listen to anything, I plug my headphones in and stick them in my lug holes and just listen to whatever it is I need to do. But you know, I don't know, things are changing. Talking of changing, what was that? That's a different. Scary, isn't it? Just scary how, how quickly things change in this city. It really is. And so, talking about changes, you know the old soy honey? So soy honey is uh, one way now. They've, they've changed it into a one way system. And already it's just is a disaster. I walked down, oh hello. I walked down here to come down to here and uh, four or five cars came down the wrong way. Uh, here's North Shore, North Shore very popular, nice beachfront location, 
you know, if you're up there, if you go right to the top up there, then your views are going to be over there and you'll see right over into the ocean. Here's the, I'm okay, boss. Thank you very much. A coffee shop, gala bar. And walking past all these uh, weed shops, do you know what? That's a real, real big, it's a real big uh, storm at the moment. No one knows what's going to happen. Are they going to decriminalise it? Are they going to make it illegal? I don't know. Whatever they choose to do, it's all up in the air right now. Here's all your, uh, all your tours. Elephant, ATV, Angry Bird. What's Angry Bird? You need gun floating. Floating market. I've been to the floating market. It's nice there. So I've got a crocodile farm. I took all the kids from Bank Root Jar there. A fantastic day. Uh, Nong Nooch, really good. Sanctuary Truth, brilliant. Buddha Mountain, really, really good. So uh, come down, guys, and uh, get yourself on these tours. We're going to start doing some stuff like that from the Buzzing Lounge very soon. Again, it's just trying to figure out timings. I really am being uh, pulled in all directions right now. And here's a place that I really just don't know, the bay. This is called the bay. I really, really honestly don't know what the future of this is. It's an enormous building. It really is huge. And yet there's pretty much zero footfall. So what are they going to do with it? What are they going to do with it? Here's the question for you. So we're going to take out the exclusion of a, of a shopping mall because clearly it hasn't worked. If someone said to you, right, here you go, mate. This is yours. What would you turn it into? And now here's the thing. Here's the thing. A lot of you probably say, oh, yeah, I'll turn it into like a Nana Plaza complex kind of thing. But you can't. And I'll say the reason why you can't is because of this. There is the beach, and they are desperately trying to clean up the beachfront image. So the ability to be able to do that, I think they would we'd knock it on the edge straight away. So it can't be a shopping complex. It can't be a, a, a girly environment. So would you make those, you see where those, these pillars are? Would you make them big, nice, high-end luxury apartments right on the seafront? So no, answers on the postcard. Guys, what would you do? And of course, you can't go far around here without McDonald's. I bet he's seen some changes. Let's have a look. Good old McDonald's. What's your favorite here? What's your favorite meal from McDonald's? And I know some of you say, oh, I don't eat that rubbish. But those of you that you do, what's your, what's your favorite? Mine's a Big Mac and French fries. Anyway, how are we doing, dude? You all right? Heavy night last night? Where'd you go? Down to six? Yeah? Okay, any good? Wow. Really? All right, well, listen, you recover, mate, and uh, I'll leave you to it. But have a good day, my friend. I like talking to my wife, that was. <laughs> she don't say a lot either. Okay. And uh, one thing to note, when you see these places here, that uh, they don't have the rates available. Um, personally, I would uh, I'll be very wary. I tell you what, let's have a little look at the back. Now, this is the back of Soy 6. And the reason I want to walk up here is just to show you some of the artwork. A lot of graffiti down here. I love the graffiti, I think it's brilliant. Do you know what, I'm so lucky. I've even had some sad individuals graffiti me. Thank you so much. Mind you, I've got to say, what a uh, anti-climax. You're there in the selection, there's a selection hotel. You go up onto your balcony and you look at that. It's like something out of a shanty town. And I think I'm going to get absolutely drenched in a minute. So let's at least get uh, up soy six. If I need to take cover for an hour, I will. But I'm going to smash these out, get these done. A promise is a promise. I deliver what I say I'm going to do. And the thing with soy six, so before we walk up there, right now, obviously, that it's closed. I don't like walking up there in the evening when it's all busy and loads of people out. I don't like doing that. There are some people I see walking around with cameras, and that's fine, it's entirely up to you. But at the end of the day, you know, it's not rocket science. You don't need me to stick a camera in your face. However, if you look on our Instagram account, look on our Instagram account, what we do is we go out in the bars and we ask some of the girls if we can video in the bars and they let us. So go onto our Instagram account, there's a link in the description below, and uh, you'll see exactly what I'm on about. 
You come down here right now, and I mean right now, of an evening, you have got at least 800 to 1,000 girls here, 100%. Every bar has got 10 to 15 girls, guaranteed, guaranteed. Some have got more. And there's some good bars down here. Uh, myself, my friend Nick and Chris, we came down here recently, had a great evening. Well, we had a great two nights. Uh, La La Land was good. Avarice was good. Let's just get out of the way. Listen. Oh, do you know what I've done? There's me talking about girls. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, Mark. I'm too busy gassing away. You want your visas? Remember I said you about one-stop visa shop down here in Soy 6? Here we are. That's where he is in there. Uh, he's still recovering. But go in there, go in there and see One Stop. Really good, they do all the things. Hello, hello sweetheart. Uh, go in there and get all your stuff there. They do driving license, 90 day reporting, visas, marriage visas, bank accounts, they do the whole lot. Hop in there, go and see them. Very, very good. Right, let's keep going. So here's a question for you. Those of you that are Soy6 entrepreneurs that like to come down here and uh, share the wealth, what's your favorite bar? down soy six what is your favorite bar down soy six well, hopefully there'll be no uh, no rain on the on the screen by the time i get to the top i do think we're gonna have to take cover in a minute passion we went in passion that was good uh where else did we go to now this is new here look it's another uh, weed shop tackham cannabis cafe good luck fellas good luck if they do a u-turn oh. There'll be another double unit bar there ready for rent. Um, let me get some cover so the rain doesn't catch me. Where else did we go? Uh, oh, we went to Wet Six. That was okay. Boofies was good fun. One place that is definitely well worth a trip. And uh, Tony, Tony's the manager there at Toy Box. Does a brilliant job. Very active on social media. You can always catch up with the amount of girls he's got in the bar. It's a good vibe. They're good fun. You'll definitely have a good time in there. Uh, Playpen was another place we went into. Probably easier to name the ones we didn't go into. But no, Playpen was good. And there's a few further up that we had a really good time in. Really, really good time. That's a good one, isn't it? Look, I can resist everything except temptations. Fair play to that. Right, let me just check the screen. I want to make sure there's no water on the screen. Uh, no, that was good. Oh, helicopter bar, panda bar. Panda bar's new to me, I don't remember panda bar. Uh, booty call, they're active on social media. Uh, up here you've got benders, but right up here on the left hand side, we've got uh, some good bars up here, I'll shout in a second. And Soy 6, when we talk about Soy 6, remember, you come down here, how do I explain it? Come down here, get yourself a beer, Maybe you find somebody that uh, ticks your boxes and the majority of the time there is an inclination that you may be tired and need to have a lay down. Well, all is possible. All is possible. Let's just leave it at that. Here's one of my favourites. This is the Spider Bar. Back in the day I used to come in here, I used to love it. Two pool tables, great vibe. I used to sit here and when I sit here I used to look across the road there Lisa Bar, Ruby Club, Ruby Club's been a long time, Hero Bar, and it was fun. Fun with a capital F. All right, let's continue up. I'm getting up to where I want to get to now. He's had a heavy night, bless him. Yep, and now you feel, mate. My mate Nick came up from Wahin, and uh, man, oh, it was emotional. And uh, over here, food-wise, Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria has been here donkey's years. Really, really good place to come and eat. Got accommodation as well. All our sound accommodations, remember where you're located. But here are ribs and wings, chips and coleslaw, 249 bar. What a bargain. Scampi chips, peas, tartar sauce, 190. You can't argue with that. And the quality of food is very, very good. Very, very good. Roxy Bar, Nick, if you're watching. There you go, mate. Trip down memory lane for you the other day. You like the Roxy Bar. And I'll tell you a place where we did spend a lot of time is this place here, Sexy in the City. 
There we go, and that one there, Sexy in the City. That was great fun. That was really, really good fun. I'll tell you what they're doing here, look. The Perry Caffeine. New coffee shop doing a refurb. Good on them. Right, we're nearly at the top, which is good timing, because I think we'll have to take cover. Smoke and mirrors. And there's a few bars just up here on the left hand side. The, the one there, see, O Bar. Oh, when I first came here, yep, I fell in love with a girl called Am. Oh, man. She rocked my world. But hey ho. And the trouble is, you know, people laugh at each other and say, oh, you're stupid, you're getting involved with a girl, blah, blah, blah. It's easy done. You remember, if you come from a lifeless relationship back in your home country, not really getting much attention, and suddenly you come out here and it's being thrown at you, left, right, and centre. Uh, Mods Bar was very good. Amiga Bar was very good. And Three Angels. Three Angels Bar was very good. And of course, you've got the famous corner bar here, being here for donkey's years. And there they are in there, having their early morning beers. Cool. Right. Over the road there, look at that. Chan Health Massage and High Space Dispensary. That Chan Massage is huge. Surely, if you want a massage, you're going to come down Soy 6. Okay, right. So there we are. Um, that's it for today's walk. I think I'm going to get uh, wet and I'm going to persevere here anyway. I want to get through the system. So what I'll do now is I'm going to wander 61, walk along Beach Road, uh, get up the Paddyer Clang, we'll go up Paddyer Clang. Um, there's not really much to show you up this way, um, in fact, if I think about it. In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do is I'll start down, I'll go back, I'll go down 61, I'll start on Beach Road, get the bump, I'll walk up, come up 61, uh, sorry, come up the second road, along the second road, I'll go down 61, then I'll get the bump, that's up the Soy 7. Okay, that's it then. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, please remember, if you are supporting the channel, change your PayPal to tnights at gmail.com. We don't use the other one anymore. And join us here on YouTube. YouTube, the, the YouTube membership, yes, they take 30%, but it's much better for me. It's easier to control. I am bringing out member-only video content now, purely because my YouTube coach has uh, been on at me like, a, like you wouldn't believe, saying, Trevor, you've got to do this, you've got to do this, you know. There's members out there supporting your channel, you've got to deliver. So I'm going to bring out YouTube shorts at least twice a week for you. So please join us on YouTube. Uh, if you'd like to uh, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon, your, preach is uh, your, preach, your, your uh, support is much appreciated. Jump into t uh, Discord. I mentioned Discord. Discord's got over 18,000 members in there. Likewise, TikTok. TikTok is daytime. Instagram, as I said about Soy6, get on their Instagram, guys. There's loads and loads of videos down there. Check it out. Please follow us. Please follow us on Instagram. And if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link on our members area, buzzingpotato.com. All right, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And please, as always, wherever you're in the world, stay safe.